Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. We had reported that on the 26th of July 2021, uh, where Mazinam Dikano was to be retried in the Federal High Court in Abuja, um, virtually all the major markets in the Southeast was on a lockdown. And reason was because um, they believed that it was a way of giving respect to that particular day where he was to be retried. And because of that, the military, we had also reported that the military had to also lock the timber market in Olu, kind of like, since you guys want to lock down, then uh, you have to lock down forever until when Mazin Namdikanu um, is released. That is when the markets will be open. And uh, But guess what? There's something very or most serious that has come up and it has to do with the instruction the demands that ipop have put before the government of the day and if those demands are not met and it has to do with mazin amdikano those demands are not met on the 9th of august a new uh, development will be rolled out by the ipop members and this is coming from uh, the director of it's coming from the director of states directorate of state of the indigenous people of biafra you're going to hear details of uh, the info in a jiffy but before we do that if you've not subscribed kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos and i'm going to read the announcement and it says the indigenous people of biafra the directorate of state 28 july 2021 press statement and it read does the Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra is very much aware of the strategy of the government of Nigeria and is subject to the leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra worldwide, Onyendu Mazin Namdikanu, in the media trial and convict him in the public before giving that public conviction an official stamp of the compromised Nigerian judicial system. The global community knows that self-determination is not a crime. The Nigerian government knows equally that self-determination does not constitute any known offense stipulated in their constitution and therefore do not have any case against the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. In recognition of that both fact and truth, the Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra demand herewith an unconditional and instant release of our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, on or before the 8th of August 2021, failing which we shall commence a weekly lockdown of Biafra land starting on Monday, the 9th of August 2021. For the avoidance of doubt, this total lockdown of Biafran land will take place every Monday until our leader is released unconditionally. This weekly lockdown is simply one of the measures we shall put in place to ensure that our leader is released. Is released. In all, in all, the government, sorry, in all, the governors in Biafra and to all those who are complicit in the abduction of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra from Kenya into Nigeria. Those of you who contributed money for the government of Nigeria to enable them kidnap our leader, following fervently that his health is not in danger and nothing unto what's happened to Mazinam Dikadu because, because then the land of Biafra shall not accommodate you and the Biafran people, we affirm our readiness to do all that is necessary to secure the instant release of our leader. It is completely unacceptable to the indigenous people of Biafra to allow our leader to remain in the hands of the enemy up in up to October of 2021. H.E.A. Sine I.C.E. of Mazi Chika Edozium, Head of Directorate. Mm. Wow. This is coming. You can see the letter, the press statement there. So to show you this is not a fake information. They are serious 
about it, I tell you, it's it's something that uh, um, a lot has to be done to correct all of these, you know, because um, if these guys uh, have come out very clear, like what we just saw today about um, the shite leader, the shite leader, talking about uh, Zach Zaki, at the end of the day, he has been released. He's been in prison for, I think, four, four years, four to six years. He's been in Nigerian prison. And he didn't do any of those things that he was accused of. And today, via the instrumentation of his legal representative, Femi Falana, he's been released, you know, him and the wife. And he has lost so much. I think so. He has lost so much. I think and Joseph was talking about apology should come from the federal government to, you know, Zach Zaki uh, for killing his six children. I don't know how true that is, but I just saw it that I think and Joe, is demanding, place a demand on the federal government to apologize. I don't know how that happened. But, you know, we have to make sure that people don't hold grievances against us. You know, Mazinam Dikanu, Sunday Ibowo, all these people are clamoring for self-determination, which in Nigerian constitution, there's nothing bad about it, you know. So the government needs to trade carefully with these people you know, so that we don't end up worsening the security situation in the country, you know. I'll, I'll read some of the reactions of some persons here, and you get to know how this thing is touching them. Don't forget that uh, his trial will come up again on, I think, October, one of the days in October 2021. For some persons, it's quite a long time. We are in July, August will come, September will come, and then October, they can no longer wait. They are now saying, he must be unconditionally released. But then, let's look at what um, some persons are commenting here. This one said, the government will not take you serious if it is done only on Mondays. It should be indefinitely if you really love Mazinam Bikanu. Another person here says, just one of the steps. You should know the implication when a non-state actor shut down the entire region of a country on a weekly basis, banks, schools, market, and government offices may not be functional. Now one said the street credibility contest now begins. This IPOB leadership gets sense that I swear. Another person said they called them baby factories, yet they won one Nigeria with them. Is that not foolishness? Agitating for one Nigeria and after all the senseless killing and economic turn down, I said no, no, that I want to pull off from one Nigeria. You decide to use police, military, and DSS to force your opinion on me. Is that not foolishness? Mm. Another person said, my only concern is that these won't disturb Buhari. It will only disturb innocent Biafrans going about their daily businesses. This will also give... The security forces are not an excuse to attack and harm more Biafran. I believe that she must find other ways and means to disturb the state without harming those they claim to fight for. Hmm. This one here say very senseless people suffering Igbo people for nothing. They are killing the East. Investments are dying completely in the East. The other day they posted foreign direct investment for the last quarter of the year none came to the east ipop just consists of people who are not ready to help us we need to wake up from all of these another person here says this is the price for freedom everybody must align with ipop another one says see a nice one by ipop however i urge them to make the lockdown a daily affair in the southeast there shouldn't be any form of movement in Biafra starting from that day. Uh, my brother, if they do like that, people will die in the house. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, locking it all through seems not to be the right step to take because by the time you lock it all through, some people won't have food to eat. Or will I